Redstone machines like this are absolutely packed with what we call logic gates. Simply put, logic gates are redstone switches that make decisions. They take on or off signals and combine them in specific ways to create new on or off outputs. These logic gates aren't just for Minecraft though, they're the foundation of how computers and phones and all sorts of other complex electronics work in real life. And of course, we can use those same concepts right here in Minecraft to build all sorts of incredible machines. So let's dive into some examples of redstone logic gates. Welcome back to the series, by the way. Oh, this is episode two, logic gates. So let's dive right into logic gates. So to start, there are seven basic logic gate types, and they are AND, OR, XOR, NOT, NAND, NOR, and XNOR. So what are logic gates? You can think of logic gates a little bit like a light switch. Each of the inputs and output terminal are always in one of two states, true, which is equal to one, or false, which is equal to zero. And for redstone purposes, false is off and true is on. Each gate has a set of rules that determines how it acts based on multiple inputs outlined in a corresponding truth table. So as we go through these, I will display the corresponding truth table to each of the following gates. As the name would suggest, the AND gate only outputs true when both input 1 and input 2 are true. If either input 1 or input 2 are false, then the output is also false. With that same logic, the OR gate only outputs true when either input 1 or input 2 or both are true. Now moving on to the NOT gate which is a single input, single output gate. Well, they're all single outputs. This is the only one that's a single input, which essentially just inverts the signal. It's known as a logical inverter or a NOT gate. And we can combine the NOT gate with these two gates to create two more gates, the NAND gate and the NOR gate. So the NAND gate is essentially an AND gate plus a NOT gate or output false only when both inputs are true. Okay, moving on to the NOR gate, which is essentially OR gate plus a NOT gate. It behaves like this, only output true when both input one and input two are false. So any combination of true inputs, output false. The XOR and XNOR gates function a little bit differently. Instead of solely relying on whether the inputs are true or false, they compare the inputs and output accordingly. For example, the XOR gate is true when the outputs are different, and it doesn't matter in which configuration. The output is also false when the inputs are similar. Again, it doesn't matter the configuration. The opposite of the XOR gate is the XNOR gate. True when similar, false when different. All right, now that we understand a little bit better how these work, let's look into the redstone behind the scenes a little bit. Starting with the AND gate. Essentially, we have three torches here. One in the middle is heading into the comparator here. So this comparator is set to subtract mode. So whenever I send a signal into the side, it takes the signal coming from the back and subtracts it from the signal coming into the side. In this case, 15 minus 15 is zero. So if either of these torches are on, output zero. But if both are off, 15 minus zero obviously is greater than zero. So that's output true. OR gate is a little bit more simple. All we have is a line of redstone. If either side is powered, then that will power the lamp. The NOT gate, another simple one, just a simple torch inverter. Very easy. The NAND gate is also a simple one. All we have is two torch inverters and a piece of redstone dust in between, which sends the signal into the lamp. So if either is on, output is on. And the NOR gate is similar, but instead of inverting the signals before they combine, this one inverts the signals after they combine, which essentially combines the OR gate 
with a NOT gate, very clearly in this example. The XOR gate and the XNOR gate are a little bit more complicated. They are also utilizing the comparator subtract feature. So essentially right now, while both are powered, and the same thing could be said about both being depowered, a signal strength of 14 is going into the front of the comparator, and a signal strength of 14 is going into the side comparator. This comparator is subtracting those values from each other and obviously outputting zero. Same thing with this side. However, when we turn one of these off, as you can see, signal strength of 13 is going into the front of this one and 11 into the side, which outputs a signal strength of two. Same thing if we flip the levers. In this case, on this side, signal strength of 13 into the front and 11 on the side. Comparator subtracts those and outputs a signal strength of two, which powers our lamp. In a similar vein, the XNOR gate is the exact same way, except on one of the levers, we use a torch inverter. So we're able to get the opposite effect. As I briefly mentioned before, these logic gate concepts are used in actual real life computers and phones and all sorts of complicated electronic devices. And so its implementation in Minecraft Redstone is super duper useful. So let's look at some small examples of ways we can implement these into our redstone machines. First example is an escape room. Let's say we have an escape room that has four puzzles in it. Each of these levers and blocks represent four puzzles. When the player enters the escape room, they'll need to accomplish each of the four puzzles in order to escape. Only after they accomplish, they solve each puzzle, will the door open allowing them to escape. So we just are utilizing a simple NAND gate here, which outputs false when all inputs are true. If any input is false, output true, essentially. All right, let's visit one of the most classic locks in Minecraft, the lever combination lock. So essentially, right now it's configured in the correct order. We have a series of levers but if we were to flip one of them, our window up there would close, right? So if we take a look behind the scenes, we have a combination of repeaters and torches, which the torches invert the signal and the repeaters obviously repeat it. And whenever this redstone line is powered, that powers this piston to go up and block our window. Now, let's say if we wanted to guard our stuff with a redstone door, we might think we could just switch the piston with a door and do it like that. But we will soon notice that it is actually the opposite of what we want. The correct combination of levers locks the door. Well, all of the incorrect combinations unlock the door. That's not what we want. So what we can do is come back here again and take this line and invert it so we can use a simple NOT gate to invert the signal. So let's do that real quick. Send the signal into this block and a torch that inverts the signal. So now only the correct combination will unlock the door. So you can see clearly with this example how we can stack and combine different logic gates to fulfill our redstone needs. All right, that should do it for the logic component section of our series. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you feel like I am doing a good job at making videos. If not, that's okay. Thanks for watching anyway, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.